Hello and welcome to the Underground. Today I'm going to show you how to generate defaults in basic portable mode on a CEM Plus processor, which can be handy if you're putting in a spare processor into a rack or if you find that your processor has been configured for an incorrect rack type size. So to start off with, we're going to go ahead and hit the minus button here and go down to the option that says configure rack. Go ahead and press check mark and then you gotta enter in a pin. The pin is, wait for it, keep waiting, did you see it? Threes all the way across the board. Really special, but once you're there, you're gonna go ahead and go into the uh, scheme. It's gonna ask you how do you wanna do so. Configure scheme, basic portable. You do have the option for full feature. If you need to go through that, there is another video already available that you can go through. We're gonna go back to basic portable. Go ahead and press check mark. And then this is where we're gonna set our input power. We're gonna go ahead and set it to 120 volts, which is standard. Go ahead and press check mark. So straight balance. Uh, straight or set phase balance. Uh, this indicates your circuit count, uh, circuit numbering, which most uh, sensor portable packs are straight. They go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way down. If it was balanced, it'd go one, two, seven, eight, and continue on down. We will set it for three phase because that's generally what we do with our systems. Go ahead and press check mark. Okay. Did you the then uh, set rack type. So SP6 stands for sensor portable six, in which six stands for the number of modules, not the number of circuits. So this is six modules, 12 circuits. We are gonna go up to what most people have, and that's an SP12, which is 24 circuits. It does go all the way up to 48, so you can do the large touring racks with 96 circuits. Go ahead and press check mark. Set your module type, D20, that's generally standard in all racks. Dimmer double, we're going to set that to off. Generally, uh, if you don't have dimmer doubles and dim dimmer doublers, you don't need them and don't need this mode turned on. Go ahead and press check mark. Uh, set DMX start address, we'll leave it at one. Check mark. Save changes, change it to yes, and go ahead and let it spin away. It's going to take about mm, 10 to 15 seconds, and we'll probably go through a reboot. the very exciting part and then there you go it'll now specify its rack type size module type its uh, status if it's okay or not and then its dmx start address and the range it goes through thank you for watching